Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw the PlayStation 4 controller. So let's get started with a quick sketch and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this and to begin we're going to start out with the touchpad area first which is just going to be one long rectangle. Alright, so just one rectangle. And then once you have this, we're going to come down right in the middle right here. We're going to draw the, uh, the joystick area. So we're just going to come down, you can make a little point, and then we're going to draw one big circle. So the hardest thing for to draw these kind of uh, controllers is just getting the proportions right. Okay, so once we have one, let's come over here, let's draw one more. Just use the other side for reference, so you want kind of to have the same cut audio. So you kind of want to have the same shape here, or at least the size. Alright, and then once we have this, we can draw in the uh, joystick itself. So let's just add in another circle inside. And then let's just finish it out. One more little detail, another circle inside. So just a smaller one. So once we have that, let's just close off the bottom. Not on the bottom here, just come up a little bit right here and just come straight across. All right, and then in the middle here, we can draw in the, uh, the PlayStation button. I just draw in a circle first and we're adding the little details later. Let's go ahead and rough out the other shapes first. Alright, so once you have this main center part, let's draw the handles. So right on the top here, we're going to come straight across and the length of this line is about the length of this line here. Maybe slightly longer. Okay, so this is a tricky part. Let's try to get the right proportions. Okay, and then from here, come to this point here, just kind of slant down all the way down here. Well, these are very tricky curves. Okay, so we're just going to slant down, slight curve. And my lines right here is a little bit thin, so it's just going to make it a little bit darker. Alright, and then once you have this, we're going to come in here. We're going to slant this one down. Just kind of curve it. Right here, just come down. And then now we're going to connect this. So we're going to keep going down and just kind of curve everything out. Alright, so that's the hardest part, just to get this curve. Alright, and then once we have that, let's go back up here and we can add in all of the uh, other control parts here. So right here, there's going to be another big circle. So here's the top. So from this space, just fit in a circle. Okay, this wide. And then same thing here, fit a circle in here. Okay, so now the rest of the part is a little bit easier, uh, now that we have these big shapes laid out. So in here, there's going to be four circles. So I'm going to draw the one on the sides first, one here, and then come across, draw another one. So these are a lot easier to do now. Okay, one more on top and one on the bottom. And then let's just go ahead and finish up the symbols in here. So this is easy, we just draw a square and this one's going to be an X. Circle here. And a triangle up, up here. Alright, so this one, uh, this one's a little bit trickier. So if you start out right in the center here, I'm going to make two dots on each side. 
and then on top yeah, I hope you guys can kind of see this I know it's a little bit small so here's that center just make two dots uh, up and down left and right and then from those two dots from those dots just draw like little angles like this so I'm gonna start out with the sides first so it's almost like a little bracket going in and this one's gonna go up this one's gonna go down okay so it's almost like an X and then once you have these lines here just come out and draw like almost a little square connected to the, uh, the little angle okay so come out one more just go up draw a square okay that wasn't too bad all right and then the little uh, arrows right here so just little triangles going out One more. All right, so those are the buttons. And then let's see, on the top button up here, this one's easy. From this space right here, I just draw two lines like this. And then we'll just curve it and connect them. Okay, so same thing here. Just two lines and then curve. All right, and then two more buttons on the side here. You can just draw two lines like this first and then just round it out. And then the little holes right here, I'm just gonna draw, I know there's more, but I'm just gonna draw three. Or three and then two on the bottom, just keep it simple. And then for the PlayStation logo, it's actually very easy. Right in the center, I'll just draw one line. And draw a P there. And then on the bottom here, draw like a little angle like this, coming in. And then go back out on the other side. That's gonna be the S. All right, and then lastly, some details. If you wanna add in one curve here, it's kinda of like different, different tones, a little bit lighter on the bottom. So I'm just going to start right around here and just drop one big curve. Okay, so just come down and just pinch it back to the sides. Just kind of follow the same curve on the bottom. And that is it for this PS4 controller. Hope you guys liked the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next time.